Hello everybody, let's continue to learn more than JavaScript. In this session, we are going to learn more methods uh, for arrays. We already learned push, pop, shift, and shift. So let's take a look at delete. So in this example, we are going to delete the index item, index one item, so which is go. We are going to set this one as undefined but the length of the array will be still the same, which is three. So let's take a look. You will see undefined for this item, but the length of the array is still three, line 19. Let's continue, take a look at splice. So we have uh, splice method with two parameters here. The first parameter is the index of the item, and this is the count to be deleted. So we are going to find index 1. Then from index 1, we are going to delete one item. Let's take a look. We get new array, i JavaScript. The study item is removed completely. Let's continue. Take a look at this example. We have this array, and for this slice, the first index, the first the parameter is index. Second one is the is the count to be deleted. The rest of parameters are the items going to be added. So after we run this line, we will see these three items are removed, and we get new array. Let's dance right now. Okay, let's take a look at this part. This splice uh, method has a return. This return is an array. So for this case, we have index zero, and we're going to remove two elements from index zero. Then we run this one, we check removed. We see I study inside, which is the removed elements inside an array. Okay, let's take a look at this example. We have an array and we uh, put index uh, 2 but the count is 0, so means we are going to delete nothing. And we have two more items behind, we are going to add these two more items. So we find index 2 first, which is this one. And we are going to insert complex language inside of this array. So we get this one, I study complex language JavaScript. Let's take a look at this example. Studio Splice. We have this array. We have minus 1. Minus means we are going to find the index from the end of the array. So this is the minus 0, this is minus 1. So we are going to add, delete nothing, and add two more items. So we get this new array here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's continue, slice. So for slice, we have this string uh, string also has this slice method. We have this array, so let's compare. And string slice, we have this index. We have this an another index. So uh, the action will won't affect the the last index, the end index. For this case, we find index one e. Then find index three, which is t. So we get es out. Similarly, for slice, we find index 1, which is e, and index t, which is the index 3, and then we get es out. So the last index won't be included uh, inside of the result. So for minus 2, minus means get the index from the uh, from the end of the string or the array. For this case, we get st, 
and st. Concate. Let's take a look at this example. We have this array. We have the concate method. We are going to add on these two items into, a, uh, into this array, and we achieve a new array. And we can concate um, more arrays like this. We also can concate array with separate elements. Let's take a look. Yeah, this is the result. Let's take a look at this example. We have this array. We have an array-like object. So remember, we have a length property. This one is very important. So when we concat this object, we get one, two, object, object. But we want to get something like one, two, something. So that one is not working. Let's take a look at this one. We have this array, and we have this element. We have this element. At the meantime, we have this property is concat spreadable equal true. Then let's take a look. This one has the error. We don't need this one anymore. Yeah, we have a new array one to something else. So if we change the length to one, we are going to only get this element. First, this flag must be true if you want to separate the atoms and add them into this array. You have to make this flag equal to true. And the length property is very important. It determines how many atoms you are going to add. Make it back to three. We get these two atoms inside this new array. Okay, let's continue. Thirteen array. Thirteen array. First, we have index O. So we have this array. We search element zero. We found index one. Fourth, index two. Now there's no element. It's now. So we get minus index. We also can use include. So we get the uh, expected result. Let's take a look at this example. We have this array. We use the index. We found uh, we have a, a value, a special value, not a number. If we use the index, we will get minus one. If we use includes, we will get two. So this value is very special. We should pay attention about this part. So first one we get minus one. Second, we get includes. Find and find index. So find is going to read return the whole R term. The final index is going to return the index of that element. We have this array, users. Then we use find to check id equal 1 A term. So we find join. So this is the whole element. If we use find index, it will give us the index, which is zero. Let's take a look at filter. The form of the filter is going to be like this. Function, put item index array. We have this example here. We use the filter, check 
the ID is smaller than 3. Smaller than 3, we get two atoms, 1 and 2. So this one should have two atoms inside. So we get a 2 here. Let's take a look at map. The form of map is like this, array.map uh, function. So we have this example, array, and we use map. We convert all the atoms to atoms length property. So we will get 5, 7, 6, 4, these three strings. Let's take a look at sort. So we can sort array like this. We have this array, 1, 2, 15, and we sort, we get this result. The reason we get this result is because by default, this sort will treat the elements as a string. That's why we get this new, uh, re uh, new result. So to fix that, we can um, add on one compare function for it. For example, we can create a function like this. And we can put the function for this sort method, like this. So if e bigger than b, we return 1, equal, return 0. e smaller than b, we return minus 1. So this time, we get the result we expect. 1, 2, 15. Let's take a look at the comparison um, situation here. So when we run sort, it will compare the atoms like 1, minus 2, minus 2, to 15, then 15 to 2, then 2 to 0, then 0 to 8. It goes through all the elements. Let's take a look at this example. We have this array. We sort by this function. It's similar thing. We use a minus b. Then we get a new array as um, we ex expect. We also can use arrow function. If we output the array, we will get 1, 2, 15. Let's take a look at reverse. To reverse the array, we just simply call this reverse method. So we will get the reversed array. Let's take a look split and join. We have this array. Uh, this string, we can split this string to a new array. We will get the result like this. We use the for of to loop through all the elements inside of this array. So we have this string, we split with this comma and we put the second parameter 2 behind so we will get only two atoms for our new array split into letters let's take a look at this example we have this string and we split with the empty string so we will get a new array letters like this. Let's take a look at this one. We have this array. We use join. We will get string like this with this semicolon. We, let's take a look at reduce and then reduce right. Reduce is going to put a function in the sex, uh, first parameter, also a starting value for the reduced result. Let's take a look at this example. 
we have this array we put a reduce it's a uh, error function starting value is zero so this one we are add up all the elements together we get summary of all the elements which is 15. let's take a look at this example we don't put the starting value so the by default it will be zero so we get this one 15. and if the array is empty the reduce call will give us an error so right now we uh, this array is empty if we call reduce we will see this error there's no initial value inside of this array and to iterate we can use for each the form of the for each is function atom index array do something with the atom so we have this atom we, we have this array so we can call for each and our output with console.log we get this item so we have this atom index and the whole array the atom index and the whole array atom index and the whole array so it will loop through all the three parameters let's take a look at this example we have this array we call for each so we can print out the atom the index and the and, and the whole array so we have another method called is array we check whether that that value is an array or not let's take a look at this one this curly brace representing an object so we get object so this one array is object 2 and how we can tell whether that one is an array or not so we use array dot is array so for this one is object so return false this one is array written true so most of the methods have uh, suppose this arg so we can put this context while we call this these methods like find filter uh, map so let's take a look at this example we have an object user age 18 and younger method inside so we have we have this users array and age 12 16 and th uh, 32 so when we use filter we can put the context as the second parameter if we run it we get younger you users length is 2 at the meantime we get the items with the corresponding context as well if we output this one we will see first age 12 which is this object and age 16 which is the second object that's all for this session thanks for watching see you next time